Hey, this is CEO Trades, where money works for you. Today, we're looking at some of the investments that I've made today on my own. Now, just to be clear, I am not your financial advisor. Always seek the advice of a professional in order to make the best decisions for you. This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. And today, we're looking at three different investments that I've made today. One of them is JetBlue. I purchased right in here earlier today around nine in the morning when it was at around six dollars and forty cents a share at that time i decided to make that investment why because next week we're hoping we're expecting that JetBlue is going to merge with spirit if it merges there's a good possibility that it will create a more positive outlook for JetBlue in general there are other out airlines out there and we know that the competition is fierce but JetBlue needs some way of merging together so that instead of canceling flights, now they have sufficient pilots and sufficient people to go around staff-wise because there, there's a huge short, shortage that's going on and that has affected. So I just made a little bit of a purchase here. I purchased 100 shares at 640 so that would have been about $641. And I'm going to keep looking at it. If it drops down a little more, even to this 620 level where it was yesterday, I might even purchase a little bit more. It's at 670 right now, meaning I've made 30 cents on each uh, on each share that I've put in. So that's 30 cents times 100. I made $30. Whoopie do. I'm hoping, expecting this one to go up high above the 20s, but that's not going to be overnight. Why? Well, there's a lot of negative talk in the markets. There's a lot of confusion going around there's a lot of money being printed unnecessarily and if we look into the overall outlook on debt and how much money is available then we know that the amount of debt is immense compared to the money that's available out there so printing money has become an easy term to to associate with and people are not happy with that now I want to take a look at two other investments that I've made here and show you why I've made them. So let me just get ready to share that with you as we share here. Now we can see I made a, an investment with Bitcoin and Bitcoin I invested somewhere at around 19, 19,200 I believe is what it was. I can always take a look at that on my, let's see on, on here, let's see what it was. It was at Actually, it was at 18,753. It's now at 19,306. So it's up around 500 points or so, as it will be referred to. Now, where I purchased it was on Cash App, where they charge a high fee. And people were that I work with were complaining, saying, Why are you paying such a high fee? And I said, Well, I have the money there. And instead of transferring it out and, and doing it all in, I just put it right in. Cash App is not the greatest tool to use but it's easy because it's just there and I can easily go in and out of it now one other purchase that I made was ethereum and ethereum let me just bring it up right here I had purchased this somewhere at around 1200 I don't see it here in a second so I can bring it up and ethereum is this it nope that's not it almost thought it was it there we go now it's coming up Ethereum is somewhere around 1200 It's still similar to where I purchased. Let me just confirm what it was that I purchased at. I will tell you right now as I'm looking at the picture. Why did I make these purchases? It's hard to pick the bottom on any of these. If you're looking to pick the bottom and you pick it right, congrats. But rare do people get a chance to pick the bottom of any of these. It's not as easy as people think. That you're going to be able to just be handed where the bottom is on some of these so you've got to be aware that as you're investing some of these investments are not always going to be the ones that you're looking to do now i invested in ethereum at 1245 dollars is at 1287 right now and that was earlier today uh, earlier this morning around 9 a.m so what I can tell you, it's it's pretty much consolidating. It's on a consolidating path. If we look at the overall chart, although I, I'm limited capabilities because I can't find my mouse and won't be able to zoom in the way I'd like to. Let me see if I can. Oh, here we go. There we go. So you can see it's pretty low. Can it go down any further? Yeah, it could go down further, but I'm I'm still 
expecting this eventually to go upward. Why? Because you can see it held here, this bottom, when it was at 900 or so, a thousand, right in here. I didn't purchase there in the summer. I wasn't purchasing. And I, I took maybe two or three months off of purchasing and even researching it. it this just gets a lot of information and sometimes you've got to take care of family not just about investing these are the three investments that i've made bitcoin ethereum and JetBlue. are there many others yes there are i could have invested in mara marathon in stocks it's, it's a very good option let me see if i can bring it up here and show you whoops just brought the, up the wrong thing let's see if it comes up now why is it not coming up don't know why it's not coming up, but let, let's see if I can bring it up another way. Here we go. Should be, there it is. So now this is JetBlue, and let me look at two others. I know that there were some that I saw in here. Here's Marathon, and Marathon Digital is just basically a play on Bitcoin. And you can see I was it was down here at 9, and I was ready to purchase, and it went up to 11. It shot up. This will be a serious roller coaster ride. It's not, it's not always going to stay at 11. It's going to go up and down very rapidly as I've seen it in, do in the past. If we look at the chart in the last year, you'll notice that it's fairly down compared to when it was at 80-ish. And eventually we'll go up that way. We just don't know how long this negative reality on investing is going to last. Trading is a tricky deal. Investing for longer term, a year or two or, or several months, is something that people have considered. And although we've been investing on the way down look at how far down it's gone i have some in here at 16 dollars uh and at share and i don't know when it's going to get back up there but it's at 11 right now i, I need it to go up at least another what 50 percent to be able to break even on my investment however if you notice that if we go back to bitcoin and ethereum let me just bring that up again here give me a second takes a moment to share the screen okay there we see if you look here at ethereum it's at 1286 can you imagine it going 50 percent down what would be 50 percent down be it would be closer to 700 can it go down there yeah it can will it go down i don't know but this is something that is very important to be addressed and to be aware of that it can happen same thing with bitcoin right now it's at 19,000. can you imagine it going 50 percent down to 10,000? it could happen it can happen. I think that we're in a serious downturn on, on in the markets. That's why I invest slowly. I'm not going to invest tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to take my time because bad news is easy to come upon. Positive news, we have to take it in slowly and hopefully it will work our way. This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. If you're looking to double your bank account, why don't you invest in your knowledge account so that your money market account will grow multiplied until tomorrow where we'll look at another session of investing, trading. Take care.